What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Sub Machine and another episode of me pretending that I'm playing on a different day. <laughs> this is actually the third chapter that I'm playing today, but as you heard on the previous episodes, I changed my shirt just for the thumbnailing, basically. I also used the chance to put again cream on my lip because it's still fucked. But yeah, today we are moving on to the last chapter, the exit. And after this one, we are going to explore all the optional areas and see what else we got in store. Let's just jump into action and get this game over with. I'm really excited about this chapter because if I, I recall that this is the bigger game. Such a cryptic start. We the king welcome you in our northern garden docks. Those who seek peace and calmness will find it under the leaves of our blessed flore. Yeah, this does look like a location from back back on the sixth game, I think. On the sixth chapter. It's fun that it also has those texts. So we're we're literally in the same place. We need to move the ladder. The ladder. Yeah, this is also another place that we saw, I believe, in those logs that showed all those nine portals. I think this was one of them. Alright, let's just find whatever I have to find. Or I can actually just climb the fucking ladder that is right in front of me. I was just thinking about moving it and I totally forgot that I could actually use it right now. I'm so stupid. I legit had just started the game and I was about to get stuck. Oh, I suppose this controls the letters for every dog, okay. Please enter ship ID number. Docking letter standing by. Hmm. Insert captain's ID. S3C. Do you have any ID any ID with you, my friend? Got a leather piston. Ladder. Oh, that's cool. It was actually not the type of device that I expected, but as soon as I got it, I understood it was that one. Oh shit. Now we're back. This kind of looks like the... Um, I don't remember the name of the, the place. Okay, this is not the location that I was expecting. It's a totally new place. That's fine. For a second it kinda looked like um <laughs> there's a fucking micro stabilizer there. Um it looked like that location um where you had to insert a combination of seven symbols, it had statues, it had screens that showed dimensions and so on. I I, I cannot describe it well. I don't remember which specific chapter it was. I gotta turn on four things to open this, okay. Lexus open.
All right, so if this was, let's consider this zero and this one. Let's go to one zero zero, I guess. This is the area that has a loop, right? I think there's a loop around here. Royal Storage Facility number 32. Storage unit 32 out of 1. Caution, spatial anomaly, anomaly leak ahead. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yep, this is infinite. And then if you go back, it's all good. I believe this is another loop, right? Yeah, exactly. I suppose the karma fuse is what I gotta insert here. Yep, okay. Gotta find three more. Storage unit 33. 33-1. Loop stabilizer. Another fuse. Thirty-three-two. Thirty-three-three. Neodymium magnet on a string. Neodymium magnet on a string. Why the fuck do I need a magnet? I see. Ah, this one is not a loop. Not in the common sense. Okay, so how did it escape after all? Through the lighthouse, naturally. How else? So if I go left, I loop certain rooms. If I go right, I loop other rooms. If I go up, same story. If I go down... Okay, I see. I did not catch this before. Okay, so I gotta go left to turn this around. Okay. Left to catch the lever again. Down to catch three. Another loop stabilizer, okay. So, if I go right... Triangle here. Time. Just these two. Do I have to follow those indications? If I go right, then down. Another loop stabilizer. Let me go back here. So if I go right, I'm only switching among those. If I go yeah, I didn't even see this structure because I didn't go left. Wow. I'm glad I noticed this. Um, if I go up, a circle among these. If I go down, it's these. Okay, so I gotta find the karma, the the loop stabilizers for this. Got three. Okay. Okay, this one I think is just random, really.
And we got together loop stabilizer. Okay. There's a lot of red in this game. I hope I'm not missing micro stabilizers because of that. Oh, we're back to the loop. To the third game. Interesting. Holy shit. Right. All of this, and we actually just explored one dimension. I was actually forgetting that we still had this transporter. I'm gonna take a quick, a quick break, and I'll be back, and we'll continue the game. And actually, then I can also combine them, like, all inside. Okay, I gotta be mindful of that. This is gonna have quite a few locations to explore. Release both clamps before operating the drill. Well, that I realized already. Airlock handle. Okay. I'm gonna need two of those devices to insert here. Okay, I got one. What else is here? These range confirmator. Power all range confirmators before operating the hatch. A portal. Oh, we're back to the laboratory. Interesting. That's fun. Oh, but it's different now. Force field plasma can canister. Okay. <clears throat> I found my grave today. A proper tomb, in fact. Well, I guess that's bound to happen sooner or later if you're a time traveler. I've also found your tomb right next to mine. Oh, that's so sweet of them. Yeah, this is the note that gives that hint. Murtag is not just space traveling, it's also time traveling. He was able to see his tomb before he died. Exploration teams and restoration staff only. I need an ID, right? Let's go to the third. Okay. I gotta tie my hair up. I'm so hot right now. <clears throat> the heat was driving me nuts. Need to insert something there. There's a ladder to this side. It's the other side as well. I remember this. So there's a two minus. Less two. Two horizontal, two vertical. Oh, interesting. I actually thought it was gonna be used here. Okay. So this was the third. Wait, it was zero, one, two, three. This is actually the fourth location. Let's go to the fifth.
We're in a loop. Yes, I know. There are time anomaly leaks everywhere, but we are not in the in one right now. Are we? No, not an horizontal loop, a vertical one. What do you mean? Look through my microscope and then through the my telescope. We'll see. Why would I come here and have nothing? Oh, I gotta insert the vector finder zero, okay. I got three, so I'm missing two. Might be linked to the other device that I found, I think, on the first dimension. Dear Murtag, that's great news. Please remember one thing, Sub Machine didn't wait for this discovery. It moved on and is healing itself, as any normal organism would. Did you see the power generator in the oldest sections of the root? The one destroyed by your portal a long time ago. Now it's being rebuilt by five karmic veins. If you haven't seen it, please do. It's a remarkable proof that Sub Machine became a sentient being. I don't recall. Right, I think this is a, a secret. Maybe there's just some other statue with the same head. <clears throat> hmm. Well, let's go to 101. Yeah, it's probably connected to this. I gotta insert two stones here and the other thing will open, okay. If there is a countless number of sub-layers, it's practically impossible for two people to end up in the same layer, right? Yeah, good observation. But non-living matter can be persistent between layers. Parts of buildings, anchors, even portal stabilizers? Yeah, there's a, there are special building materials mixed with just a hint of karmic water. This technique was discovered during the 4th dynasty. Naturally, the architect of the plan. So you can imagine how a non-living satient organism Powered by the super intelligence of Shiva, was able to embrace all layers at once. The submachine is now living in five dimensions. The submachine became stationed because of the karmic water. Is that what's happening? Am I reading this wrong? Oh, I remember this place. Sort of. Insufficient data. And another vector finder. Yeah, okay, we got five of them. Another symbol. Okay. And another port. Yeah, and we're back in the location of the previous game. That's cool. I like this. Gotta find another one of those lights. Yeah, so basically the explanation is we are we are technically Okay, I gotta find two more. Um we are technically in the same location, but not really. This is another sub layer. I believe this is not the exact same place that we've been to. Or it could be, but sometime has passed or some people came by and added or change things. Now zero one one, and then we'll close all of them. Can we talk about the fact that we are walking on top of a pipe with no safety whatsoever? Looks like we are just risking falling toward death here. And this looks like the same device that we were just looking at in the other area. This is probably the backside or something. Or it's related in some way. Shiva. Access denied. Plasma charge. I 
I gotta cover it with something. Last location. Another device like this. I really feel like when I put the vector finders <clears throat> in that other layer, I'll trigger two devices or three at the same time. Alright, let's restart the, the exploration. Now we're gonna backtrack a bit to try to understand what can we do now. Isn't there a hole that has a, a micro stabilizer that I couldn't catch? I might need the magnet for that. Every time I see a red area like this, I think there's a micro stabilizer somewhere. Oh, we're back to this machine? Oh, this is fun. I like this. Now we're doing what I what I knew what was gonna happen. We're going back to locations of other games, which is fun. And we're going into these sewers that we could not access before. Okay, we're going to the right, I see. We got plasma charges. What is this? Blockade removal tool. Another plasma charge. And another machine. Okay. We go back to this location and we find another machine. Another plasma charge. Great. Infestation blockade in effect. Oh, I see. Got you. Okay. Another leather step. Now we move this again. Karma vial. This looks like it could be inserted into those black machines. That might be it. Emergency evacuation protocol. S3... Oh, where did I see that? I saw this S3C somewhere. And before I leave, let me just confirm. Do I insert this on the device or not? I don't. It doesn't belong here. What? Oh, the cog goes here. Jesus fucking hell, dude. I saw the two things, but I didn't click that it j the cog would just go in one. I am so dumb, dude. All this time I was just going around in circles and this was right in front of me. Now I understand why there's the heads that teleport me. Now it makes sense. And we are back to the route. Is it the third game? I don't remember. Another cog. Ooh. A portal to another portal. Jeez. And this shit still has nothing, but now it shows that I can insert something on it. 
Motherfucker. What can I insert here? Do you know how many numbers there are between 0 and 1? Infinite? Exactly. There is a countless number of sublayers between any two main layers of reality. The important thing to remember is that as there are seven main layers, all stable as all their sublayers, there is also the eighth layer, known as the layer of light, which is not stable and can float freely through all other layers. Murtag was trapped in the eighth layer once, and that's why he was unable to focus his being on a single layer. Fortunately, Elizabeth managed to snap him out of, out of the trap. Please help me. Why? This thing opened in the other game and I couldn't do shit about it. Why does it now show this icon that I can insert something? This is evil. Just go here. It does. Ooh. So this shows items on all the different seven layers. <clears throat> I still don't understand why there's these heads that teleport me one to the other. Because no matter what I do with the ladders, I can still access everything without being teleported. Oh, I see. There's another cog. I understand now. Each of the cogs controls a different ladder. Eventually, I'm gonna turn this ladder even further down. That's what's happening. I see. I understand. This game has a lot of shit, dude. <clears throat> it's kinda hard to keep track. I'm doing my best. Yeah, that's where I need the lights here. Insulator cap. Oh, okay. This is what I need to stop the lasers. I got it. I'm also finding it extremely odd that I have only found one micro stabilizer so far. This game is huge. And I've only found one. I also missing. Oh, I got the other two steps. Perfect. I thought I was lacking one. What is this? Root Pathfinder. This is what I have to insert in the other place. Okay, got it. I'm glad I found the item on a similar... Not device, but thing. On a similar placement. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what to do with that item. Light crown converter needed to connect light crown to the fuse outlet. Light crown converter needed to connect light crown to the fuse outlet. Sure. The fact that I had that there was a device like this in the other game, you could interact and open the lid, but you'd never find an item to use there. What a bastard. This looks like a perfect place for a secret. I really can't tell if <clears throat> if micro stabilizers are indeed scarce in this game, or I'm just really bad at looking at them or finding them. Another portal. Okay. We're back here. Another area. This game is a great ending of a saga. It's really well done. Got a teles telescope tube. Explorer skull. Well, now we gotta go back to that microscope and find out why they were looking at so many skulls, I guess. And we got another rock. Stone Grape. This is the name. To anyone who might still be looking for help on this frequency, I'm coming back to the shrine every 32 years. Bro, 32 years is a very long time. This is the back door of that device. Where I inserted the fourth cog. 
I'm, I'm certain that if I had not inserted the cog, I could not go there yet. What do I need this for? I don't understand. Ah, oh, okay. Give me a secret. I was immediately complaining, like, why do I have to interact with these items and get nothing in return? Apparently, there's something else. Portal stabilizer. All of this for one of those? Really? I got one portal stabilizer after all this. Who knows how many more I have to find, jeez. Meditation glyph. Okay. We're back here again. Okay. And this is destroyed. Now we finally got a micro stabilizer hidden in the red sand. Alright. Oh, I like this. Yep. Portal stabilizer. The third. Really? I couldn't see the ship without the microscope? Explorer's ship. I see. I was really confused. I, I, in my head, I was just thinking, are we going to remove some golden tooth out of the guy? I see what's going on. There we go. Karma stabilizer not present. So I gotta insert a flask here. It's kind of annoying to think that you solve the puzzle and immediately after you get blocked again. I say let's backtrack again. Try to see what else I'm missing. And we also got the other micro stabilizer, which is great. So the magnet was just for the secret, okay. Let me actually come back to the very beginning. See if there's anything else I can do here. Yeah, this is the device, exactly. I gotta insert something there though. So a door opens on another place because I inserted a battery here, a simple AAA battery. That's so funny. Imagine if this were real. You'd have a super secure door that opens if you place a fucking AAA battery somewhere. Do you realize how crack up that is? Alright, now that we had our fun backtracking a little, let's move forward. I still don't know what to do about those machines though. Oh, that's it. It was just three. Okay. What now? Legit, the only item that I can use right now is a micro stabilizer. That's the only item. The rest is notes. Oh, I opened the door. Exactly. It's the same. Ooh. Are we alone? There's always someone right be beside you. Sometimes it's someone from another exploration team, sometimes it's me. Just one sub-layer away. I haven't finished revealing things yet. Okay, so the micro-stabilizers are for this area. So, does the S3C stand for secret? What happened to Sunshine Bunny Girl 17? Don't worry, she left the net years ago. As far as I know, she's alive and well. Will you ever come back to the net? I never left. There are still people trapped inside, so my mission is to navigate infinity to find them and bring them home. What will happen to me now? Well, you're a free individual. You can do whatever you want. You can leave the net if you choose to. But if you decide to stay, there are still things waiting to be discovered in the far reaches of the net. I know we need to get to the engine. So that's most likely my next mission to give out to the exploration team. 
All right, so one secret left. Where is the karma stabilizer? It it feels like it should be here. You know why? This is why Submachine crumbled. Because the fucking exploration team doesn't know how to keep things in its rightful place. Let's be real. They suck at being organized. They put everything everywhere. They spread it all out and then they hope to have things where they should be. And that's why they get fucked. And then they get stuck and they die because they can't leave because they left something in the other fucking dimension. Do you understand? I gotta find another micro stabilizer. I gotta, I gotta find whatever I need to find to interact with those fucking black machines. Like this one. I can do shit. I have no items. I have nothing new to do. I am so stuck. Alright. I stopped the recording for a bit while I was trying to search what I was missing and try to figure things out. Eventually, I end up coming back to this layer and decided to turn off the laser on the right instead of the left. And apparently, when I do that, it shows this ladder, which wasn't there before. Or if it was, I'm just stupid as hell and didn't see it. So yeah, I hit record as soon as I noticed the ladder. Because obviously, this is something new. I was just thinking to myself at this point, I'm missing a layer. I didn't account for enough layers, there's something missing. But no, it was just this. And there we have it. The fucking cog. Portal stabilizer battery. Back to the lighthouse. Okay. Hey, I hope I find the last micro stabilizer here. We got another light sphere. I'm paying as much attention as I can because I've already explored all the other dimensions multiple times. So I'm hoping the last micro stabilizer that I haven't found yet is in this new area. I really hope so. Dude, there's so many devices that I've found that I can't interact with. There's the black machines, there's two of these things. And I haven't found a single item related to them. Oh, I see. <sighs> Thank you, Matt, for putting them in order. This is very appreciated. So now I gotta go back to the last layer. There's a device related to this. I also gotta make a connection between these cables. And it will trigger the ladder to go further down. There was no macro stabilizer here. Another portal. Dear Elizabeth, I am so close. You won't believe how much progress I've done in the last... How long was it? Three years? Three and a half? My lord, it feels good to be focused again. I know this sounds stupid, but as, as a time traveler, I have to say it feels good to see time run by you. Anyway, back to the subject at hand. My theory of focused karma was correct. I have scientific evidence of my, at my laboratory. Once it doesn't penetrate any two given layers creating a portal, it actually restores previously destroyed submolecular order. Now all I need is some kind of portable karma stabilizer and I'm, all, and I'm good to go. Just imagine, stable and secure karmic portals, would you believe that? I still haven't found the micro stabilizer, dude. That is unsettling me. I feel like I'm getting so close to the end of the game. And I haven't found the last stabilizer. You can't fix everything. Just let it go. Submachine doesn't need your help. It's fine as it is. You know you're taking away my life's goal, right? 
We'll find you a new one, don't worry. You were part of this organism, I admit it. A crucial one, but just a part nonetheless. You can't think of yourself any bit higher. That would be arrogant and that's not you anymore. What would I do without you, my dear? Please don't finish the last game here. Please don't finish the last game here. Dude, if you make me finish the chapter here... And I haven't found the last secret. Unlock lever. Oh. We got some interesting stuff going on here. Hmm. I totally forgot that in the last game you go back to the first one. That's so fun. And the fact that it's so further ahead in the game, like legit you end where you began almost. Which is really fun, but it's so different from the original one. This is a place where we used to put the spoon. And I believe this is the last micro stabilizer. It looks like it. I got three unlock levers. And I'm so scared. Every time that I find a new lever, a new portal, I am so scared that it's gonna be the last one. Because there's nothing else for me to do before, the, like, besides this. I haven't found anything to interact with the black machines, I haven't found the last secret. But I'm so scared of ending the game without interacting with those things. Okay. Didn't happen yet, we're still good. The spoon has no purpose? Why hasn't it shifted away? Oh, I like this. Is the spoon still the item that we put in the altar in the end? Please be. Oh, are these the things that I have to insert on the machines? I had to go back to the first game and get the fuses. Oh, I like that touch. This game is very fun. Although I got stuck a lot of times. This game is fun. The way that it goes back to the previous ones and it actually implements them. Instead of just being a, a cliche throwback. The coin no longer has numbers etched on it. Why is it still here? Huh. I love how it all looks so ruined. Stone cubes. So I got the four fuses and the four stone cubes. This is very interesting. And there's another portal. <laughs> Two pearls as well. I'm grabbing every single shit from this game. That's so interesting. What is... Oh, I see. So... The fuses are for the black machines, the pearls are for those sort of radios that I found. The cubes, I have no idea. This is fun. This is really fun. I also got the valve. <laughs> okay. I'm really grabbing every single thing that I can find, it feels like I'm robbing this place. I don't want to use that portal yet. Another light sphere, okay. It would be also so funny if I could grab the switches also. 
There we have it. The spoon. Dude. We are gonna put the spoon in the altar, aren't we? This last game makes it all worth it. It's still the fucking spoon. This is awesome. And we got the last micro stabilizer, dude. Alright. Um... I think that last portal is gonna be the end of the game. I have so many items that now allow me to go back and do things that I couldn't do before. So I'm gonna do those first. I'm gonna explore all the dimensions again, all the, yeah, layers again. Insert everything that I gotta insert. And then we go back. Um, I am really confused though. The fuses, I know where I have to put them. The pearls as well, the stabilizer as well. I have no idea why do I have a valve, the cubes or another light sphere. But we'll see. Another secret. Oh, that caught me off guard. That caught me by surprise. There's more secrets. What do you mean? <clears throat> I thought I was done. What do you mean there's more? Bro, what? So, are, is there another one more? There's two more secrets. Oh, dude, what the hell? Oh, is the valve the thing that I need for this... This puzzle? Do I have to insert the fucking valve here? Oh, I see. Depending on the direction that I rotate it to, it connects to a specific placement. So now I gotta connect it to the right again. Plasma coil. Interesting. So that's it for this one. Finally, I'm over with this loop. Now we got this one. It's a beautiful fuse. Oh, dude, this is so good. Another micro stabilizer, dude. Why two more? These extra two are really confusing me. I also got this thing that I can't interact with yet. Oh, the end of the secret area is a portal? Huh. How do you solve this game without finding the micro stabilizers, though? Monolith 13. 13? I've only found two. One was called 11 and the other one was called 13. Really? What is going on with these monoliths, though? Okay, so this was just an extra secret, which makes sense, but I still got two extra micro stabilizers. Could someone care to explain to me, please? What is going on? Oh, I think I know what I have to do with the cubes. I have to go back to <clears throat> second layer. The one that goes back to the sewers. If I'm not mistaken, there's some pillars here. Exactly. Nope. We got the last fuse. Perfect. The amount of layers where we have shit to do is decreasing, my friends. Alright, so let me go back to the first one. See what I unlocked with these fuses. Empty karma stabilizer. There we go. Alright, we finally... We are finally gonna get the device. I feel like maybe I should get to the... I should go back to the end game. And check that portal. To see if it indeed has any relation to the end of the game or if it's just an extra thing. I feel like having so many items that you interact with when you could just end the game right away doesn't feel right. So I feel like this is not the end of the game. here. Oh, I just opened this door, really? Okay. 
that's it. I was just delaying a portal that led me right back here. I was being so cautious for nothing. So I finally got the Karma Stabilizer. Let's go back to the second portal. Second dimension. Get to the lab. And get this fucker working. It's about time. But yeah, now every single one of those spots that had broken shit, I can just use the Karma Stabilizer to make it work again. Starting with the beginning of the game. Another Micro Stabilizer? Okay. Uh, Nero is coming to visit. This bugger just laid down right next to me, which is really cute. But uh, as I was saying, I just wish that this item would just be always active. And what I mean by that is that instead of having to grab it to stabilize shit, you could just touch things and stabilize them right away. Because I'm going to have to grab that item so many times now. Another one. Tile? Why am I grabbing the hell? I see. I see. I did not remember this. I gotta find all the four tiles to unlock that door. And that, my friends, I think will be the end of the game. Alright, let's backtrack once again. Tile. Is there anything that needs rebuilding in this layer? I don't think I'll find anything new, but still we'll see. Okay, we got a new tile here. Let's forget that I said that. Interesting. If I'm not mistaken, I believe I start to see a blue glow in things that I can interact with the Karma Stabilizer. And when I open the menu, it's also glowing. We finally found this area! This area which is so special to the game is actually one of the final areas. I totally forgot that we had not seen this place yet. Are we gonna insert more Micro Stabilizers here? We got three. I think we need five more. I think we need two more. Yeah, we need two more. Interesting. Now let's go back to the other layers. I'm gonna explore everything, because not only do I want to find if there's places to repair, to use the Karma Stabilizer, but also I want to see if I find a place for the plasma coil. Alright, I turn off the camera. Uh, I, I stopped recording for a bit because I was just exploring places that could have new things. Basically, the three first layers are done. First layer is with the portals, there was nothing to repair and I already got all the puzzles and all the items. Second led to the lab where I found the Karma Stabilizer, all good, all done. Third layer, um, I already got all the items as well, there was nothing to repair either. So now we are in the fourth and there's something here, finally. Another tile. Another micro stabilizer. One to go. But how is it possible that she knew the submachine was stationed and reasoning? That's like the Lumiere brothers talking about retina cinema of the early 21st century. Don't forget that's Elizabeth you're talking about, right? Right. Another plasma coil. I didn't even figure out where I gotta insert the first one. I thought this was gonna be a secret. Alright. I hate to admit it, but I had to google where the location of the last stabilizer was. 
Because I was aware that I was not going to find it. I searched every place so many times. I knew I was just going to keep going around in circles and not find it. Um, it is here in one of the loops. Hidden in the walls. Here. It was right there all along. And I didn't see it. All this time saying that I thought there would be micro stabilizers hidden in the red areas. And I totally missed this one. But I, I'd rather Google it. It was one out of ten that I'd Google. I just didn't have the energy to keep searching for it because it's just too much. But now that we have it, let's um let's go back. Wait, actually, how do I get there? Alright, let's see what this is about. <coughs> what is going on? Holy shit. It's a lot of cubes, my dude. Why is someone collecting cubes? Oh, it's there. New place. Is it a new place? It's another monolith. Monolith 14. Dude! I missed so many. If this is 14 and I just got 3. Did I miss 11 of them? What the hell? Can I backtrack in the other games and find the monoliths that I missed? I hope so. I also haven't found the purpose of these plasma coils though. And I searched everything. Am I gonna use the tiles on the portal and then use these items? I hope so. I'm very intrigued though. I really thought that this thing was gonna be some main hub area. Or like the main area for the micro stabilizers. I really thought we were gonna collect the micro stabilizers and insert them all around this thing. I don't know why I created that idea in my head, but since it felt like such a main important area, I thought there would be more to it. Hmm. Plasma coils. Leather control. Oh. There's more to it. I think you're ready to enter the submachine. You know more than enough and we'll probably find out more on your journey. Remember, this can destroy or transform you. But you will not return the same man. May the wisdom of thought guide you. Thank you, holy usher. I will not fail you. Don't fail yourself, my young disciple. Wait, Submachine was already sentient that early? Of course. The mainframe of Submachine became conscious once its processing power surpassed that of the human brain. They asked the question, remember? And Shiva answered. Submachine was sentient for at least 32 days before that. Now I understand Shiva is the brain, Submachine is the body. It's all so clear now. Am I gonna take more items from here? I am. I love this shit. Just steal everything. Steal every fucking thing from the previous games, dude. How will you know that they're coming? I'll keep my eye on the lighthouse. Once the lamp goes off, they'll be coming. But the lamp is behind steel curtains. Don't worry. I'll know once it's off. Alright, I was trying to think of where could I use the fuse and the light crown. And I remember this device that I haven't interacted with yet. It isn't here. Oh. But the fuse is. What is this for? Portable light crown converter. 
I was on the right track, but this was not the outcome that I was expecting. All right, it took a while, but I figured out that I have to insert things here. So I hit record as soon as I understood where I had to put it. I did try to put the crown here before because I noticed this hole. And since it didn't work, I totally erased it out of my memory. And now that I got the converter, it would make total sense. It would make total sense to come back here and try again, but I totally forgot. And I believe this is going to be the end of the game. This cinematic is refreshed, I think. Einstein is there. That's cute. So this is Murtag and Elizabeth. That's fun. Thank you from the bottom of my heart from pl for playing Submachine Legacy. For finishing all main storyline chapters and staying around for as long as you did. For me this journey lasted for over 18 years. I know that for some of you too. I salute you. Thank you again and see you in the next chapter of Submachine series. Submachine the Engine. Matthew Skutnik. 2023. Matt, I love you, dude. I must say, these games feel so nostalgic. Some of the games, like, they just have that shine because they are nostalgic. But chapter 8, 9, and 10 are incredibly fun. Even, even for someone that has never played this genre of game before, I would totally recommend the this saga, honestly. Or at least the fourth. 8, 9, and 10. Those are my four favorite games. I really like them. It was This last one was amazing. I knew the last game was bigger, but to be honest, in my mind, I thought the last game was the one that you got to the gardens and the palace and so on. And nope, that's a different game. But yeah, the last game is amazing. The way that it connects to the previous games, the way that it has so much to explore, the way that you get so many items from the first game to finish the last one. It's awesome, I really liked it. Um, yeah, and it's wild to think that I finally got to play this. So now that I did, now that I finished all the main chapters, that's gonna be it for today. I'm done with the marathon for now, but I'll come back another day and we'll explore the bonus chapters and be done with the saga. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.